The Greatest Man-Made Wonders of the World Part 3 Ancient Hellenic travelers created the earliest lists of the seven wonders of the ancient world more than 2,000 years ago. These wonders, with the exception of the Great Pyramid of Giza, are extinct. They were obliterated by earthquakes, fires, and in one instance, a vengeful mob. Since then, numerous other lists of incredible structures have been created. Welcome to Best Wonders, where today, we'll be showing you some of the greatest man-made wonders of the world. But before we continue, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you get more videos like this. Now, let's move on to the video. Number 12. Forbidden City The Forbidden City is a large enclosure with red walls and yellow glazed roof tiles that is situated in the center of Beijing, the capital of China. The precinct is a miniature city, as its name suggests. The Forbidden City is made up of more than 90 palace compounds, including 98 buildings, and is surrounded by a moat that can be up to 171 feet wide. It is 3,153 feet long and 2,470 feet wide. For more than 500 years, China's political and ceremonial center was the Forbidden City. 24 emperors, their families, and servants lived in the Forbidden City after it was finished in 1420 during the Ming and Qing dynasties. Puyi, the final occupant and the final emperor of Imperial China, was driven out in 1925 when the precinct was converted into the Palace Museum. With an average of 80,000 visitors per day, it is still the most popular museum in the People's Republic of China and one of the most significant cultural heritage sites despite no longer being an imperial precinct. Number 11. Stonehenge The many mysteries surrounding Stonehenge, the prehistoric structure that took Neolithic builders an estimated 1,500 years to erect, have baffled historians and archaeologists for centuries. It can be found in southern England, and is made up of about 100 large upright stones arranged in a circle. Many contemporary scholars now concur that Stonehenge was once a burial site, but they are still unsure of its other uses or how a civilization without the wheel or even modern technology produced the enormous monument. Its construction is even more puzzling considering that, while the sandstone from its outer ring came from nearby quarries, the blue stones from its inner ring can be found as far away as Wales, Prasili Hills, about 200 miles from Stonehenge's location on Salisbury Plain. Stonehenge has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1986 and it receives nearly 1 million visitors yearly. Number 10. Neuschwanstein Castle Neuschwanstein Castle, one of Mad King Ludwig II of Bavaria's architectural undertakings, is the archetypal castle from fairy tales. In fact, Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle was influenced by the castle's soaring spires and Romanesque revival design. Ludwig unfortunately never got to live in his castle because he passed away in 1886, the same year the castle was finished. Construction on the castle started in 1869. The castle's picturesque location in South Bavaria surrounded by wooded mountains and lakes that reflect the surrounding landscape, is just as impressive as the structure itself. Number 9. Petra A long time ago, nomads carved the Rose City of Petra out of the pink stone cliffs in the middle of the desert. It's difficult to imagine that the Jordanian city, which is nestled between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea, once had lush gardens, magnificent homes, and lively markets. Instead, abandoned caves, temples, and tombs hidden within the city walls can be found by taking a stroll or a camel ride through Petra's ruins. One of the most stunning structures in the old city is the two-story treasury that has been carved out of the rock face. Even just the exterior is worth seeing, but the interior with its Indiana Jonesy royal tomb is also interesting. Number 8. The Leaning Tower of Pisa Its incredible 4-degree tilt 
which gives the impression that the tower is about to topple over, has made the Leaning Tower famous throughout the world. Romanesque architecture was used to create the amazing slanted bell tower that is located behind the Pisa Cathedral. The tower, which dates back to the 12th century and took an incredible 199 years to complete, started to lean during construction because of the soft ground on one side. The tower, which is a wonky 183 feet tall, draws tourists from all over the world today. Number 7. Pyramids of Giza The Pyramids of Giza, arguably the most famous structures in the world, are situated outside of Cairo and have a view of the endless Saharan sands. During the 4th dynasty of the Old Kingdom, the Giza pyramids were constructed over the course of three generations. The oldest and only remaining example of one of the seven wonders of the ancient world is the Great Pyramid of Khufu. The pyramid is the tallest in Egypt at 455 feet although nearby Khafre's pyramid appears to be larger because it was constructed at a higher elevation. Number 6. St. Basil's Cathedral The Twisting Cathedral in Moscow's Red Square, which is also arguably the most famous site in all of Russia, is surrounded by colorful, onion-domed roofs. In 1555, Ivan the Terrible erected St. Basil's Cathedral. The building is a crazy bright lollipop of odd styles that resembles a fairground and is unlike anything else in Russia. The cathedral is a representation of Russia because of its distinctive architectural design and its historical ties to a triumphant Tatarstani battle. Number 5. St. Peter's Basilica The Basilica of St. Peter is a sizable church and the hub of the Catholic universe. The Statue of Liberty and the Space Shuttle, along with their booster rockets, could fit inside thanks to the interior height of 400 feet. The traditional location of Peter the Apostle's execution and burial ground is where the Basilica now stands. The current building was started in 1506 and finished in 1615. The complex and its surroundings were the work of many renowned artists. Michelangelo created the dome and Bernini created the tremendous St. Peter's Square. Number 4. The Statue of Liberty One of the most well-known icons in the entire world, the Statue of Liberty is a gift from France to the United States and is located on Liberty Island. The statue's construction was finished in France in July 1884 and it traveled to New York in the following year. It was frequently one of the first glimpses of the United States for millions of immigrants from 1886 until the jet age. Visitors can climb Lady Liberty's impressive 305-foot pedestal for views of Brooklyn and Gustav Eiffel's supporting structure. Number 3. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House, regarded as a masterpiece of 20th century architecture, was created by architect Jern Utzon to resemble a massive sailing ship. It is home to a number of venues that collectively host more than 1,500 performances annually. One of Australia's most well-known landmarks is the Sydney Opera House, which is surrounded by a stunning scenery of Sydney Harbour and the Royal Botanic Gardens. Number 2. Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal, a massive white marble mausoleum in northern India, was created by Shah Jahan, the Mughal Emperor, in honor of his beloved wife. The Taj is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture and one of the best preserved tombs in the entire world. The monument, which is referred to as a teardrop on the cheek of eternity, is actually a complex of connected buildings. It also has a number of other stunning structures, reflecting pools, and vast ornamental gardens with flowering trees and bushes in addition to the white domed marble mausoleum. Number 1. Temple of Baalbek Baalbek's vast complex is home to some of the most impressive Roman ruins anywhere. It was once known as the City of the Sun. The Temple of Jupiter and the Temple of Bacchus are the two biggest and most impressive of these. The Temple of Jupiter which was intended to be the biggest temple in the Roman Empire, was surrounded by 54 enormous granite columns, each of which stood 69 feet tall. 
even though only six of these enormous columns are still standing. They are still incredibly impressive. Baalbek is still a significant historical site and one of the most visited tourist destinations in Lebanon, despite the fact that it was repeatedly looted over the centuries for building materials. Which wonder would you like to see in person? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for more of the world's best wonders.